Um, so welcome everybody to the KubeVert community meeting. This is the, what is that? The 6th of March, 2024. Um, I hope you're having a wonderful day uh, wherever you are in the world so far. So um, yep, if you could please, as Dinesh is doing, please add your name to the attendees. Um, and yeah, we like to start our meetings by welcoming any new people or people who um, might have attended this meeting before, but haven't necessarily introduced themselves. And so now's a, a chance for you to unmute and say good day and who you are and what you hope to get out of this meeting. Oh, hi everyone. Yeah, I'll mix it. I'm already good. Yep, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, um, so I'm Satan Niki. And uh, yeah, just a second. Oh, hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Salto. Okay. I just came here because I'm new to the community right now. And uh, you're just exploring QWord. And also, I have some queries regarding Google Summer of Code as I'm anticipating to get uh, to uh, apply for the projects that I mentioned in, in the website. Awesome. Well, uh, welcome. Um, yeah, and so we've got a um, we've got our agenda and our open floor, and we'll go through various things. Um, if you do have anything, any particular questions, uh, you're welcome to add them to the agenda, or um, before we finish up, I'll do a call out if you've got any anything you want to ask about or any comments you'd like to make. So welcome. Was there anyone else here that was new or wished to introduce themselves for the very first time? Alrighty, we will move along. So I've scratched out the schedule check-in this week because um, Kubert version 1.2 was released. Uh, hooray. So uh, thank you everyone for involved in that. Uh, thank you Antonio for uh, handling the release uh, throughout this process. Um, and yeah, the what I've got linked here is to the uh, mailing list thread that he sent out uh, early this morning. Um, we do not currently have a version 1.3 schedule, but we hope to have one up before too soon. Um, and it'll be in about, you know, approximately four months from today or yesterday. Let's have a quick look at our upcoming CFP and events. Uh, so DevConf, as you can see, I haven't updated this. DevConf, I think someone said had been pushed back. And so you have a week reprieve. Uh, let's see if that changed. Yeah, deadline to submit proposals, same to March 10th. Um, so if you thought you'd missed the boat on that one, have no fear, the CFP has been extended to March 10th. It's just not reflected here. Um, and that'll be in June. The KCD Pune, I believe, has finished. And then we've got uh, still open, all things open in the United States, container days in Germany, um, and then a bunch of uh, KCD. For those who are new, that is the Kubernetes community days. They are small, localized, typically city-based events. We've got one in Prague, Munich, Zurich, and Bologna. And we will be turning up in KubeCon in two weeks. Uh, our sessions are linked there. And um, DevOps Pro in Europe in May. Um, if you are going to be in uh, KubeCon in Paris in a couple of weeks, um, uh, I, I mean, obviously, I'd, I'd like you to pay attention to all the sessions that KubeVert will be in. Um, and you can come find us at the kiosk, which I will link here for next week. Um, but we've also got this uh, uh, Contrib Fest. So this is open to anyone new or um, anyone experienced with that product. We'll be covering a variety of things, including some features. We're going to give a tour of our repo and, and how to build a test cluster for people who are very new. We'll be looking at some uh, user guide stuff. And also, um, we've got a wonderful uh, Infra CI team. And so we'll be looking at how people can make um, the use of their infrastructure and, and write better tests. So the link is there. Um, I think you need to 
log in to be able to say, yes, I will attend. So that can traverse. It is on, at, uh, on the last day at 4 p.m. Um, so hopefully we can see you there. So that's our CFP. Uh, Cuba 1.2 has been done. Um, Daniel, you've got the first point here. Okay, so hopefully everyone can hear me now. <laughs> I sure classic can. double, yeah, thanks. The classic double mute. So uh, yeah, so um, I was just wanting to remind everyone that we are looking at the uh, Cubebird Org um, memberships. We have um, so we are following the model of Kubernetes in that we want to look at people that have not been contributing for quite a while. And so we are doing a bit of core, so like uh, moving um, uh, members without co any contributions within the last year um, out of the org. Um, membership, gaining membership uh, again should be easy enough so that people can uh, rejoin the organization whenever they are going to contribute again. Uh, but uh, since this uh, membership comes with a bit of elevated privileges, we are uh, we are requiring to um, to like um, be have a have a current membership or have a current set of contributions. Um, we have I have the PR uh, linked in the uh, in the document. Please chime in there um, whether you might be unfairly removed from the org. Um, then please uh, give us a, a note. Uh, we are using the dev stats, but not only like the non-code contributions um, or the code contributions count, but also like reviews and, um, and other things like comments. So you should not be uh, removed if you are still like uh, reviewing stuff or commenting on, on issues or something like that. That's all counted as contribution. So um, we hope that um, we didn't unfairly remove someone. Um, last but not least, we have added a section to the uh, membership policy that defines exactly uh, what we uh, what uh, an active uh, membership means. Um, and yeah, so to be fair to uh, to make the contributions of uh, removed members visible again, we have added an alumni page in the Kubernetes community repository. So um, uh, we hope that this somehow like at least takes a bit, it gives a bit of like a remembrance on the people that have contributed in very early stages or like a year before or more than that, because like Kubernetes is a very long running project and there might be people that haven't been contributing a couple of uh, years already. So, but still those contributions are not forgotten. Um, sorry for my long talking, hope that's uh, everyone uh, that, that uh, makes it all clear. Um, if there's questions, please chime in on uh, Kubernetes Slack or contact me directly um, or maybe even right now if you have questions on that one. Thank you, Daniel. Um, and uh, we, I don't see it linked here, but we also have that um, alumni page, right? Yeah, the alumni page, I think I linked it also in the document. So, and the last one on the paragraph, probably. Um, I think I have, oh yeah, you mean that might, maybe in the membership policy, we should probably link the alumni page. Yeah, that makes sense. I can add that. Good point. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think it's linked here somewhere. But yeah, it's probably worthwhile, yeah. well, just so then people can see themselves. Um, yeah, actually, it's on the, in the, it, actually, it's on the top uh, level of the community repository, like directly alumni markdown should be should be visible pretty, pretty easily. Hopefully. It should be there. Oh, there it is. There it there. is. Yeah. 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 I'm not a master of words. I hope that that like the introduction <laughs> sentence is good enough for that one. <laughs> we can iterate if not. Thanks. Um, don't go anywhere because um, yeah, I, I almost put your name on this one as well, but uh, I thought that would be a little too rude. So we've got these uh, good first issue and help wanted labels. Um, this is something that um, 
Daniel brought forward a couple of weeks ago. It's currently restricted to, I think, quite a small group. Um, and the question is, should we make these more widely available? And um, yeah, I was, I was interested in hearing what uh, people's opinion was on this call. Um, I think it's currently restricted to project and repo maintainers. Is that correct? Yeah, actually, like it's um, it's like not that it's automatically somehow like um, maintained, but we need to change the Q, uh, the Qbert org uh, team members for that one. So this is a, a bit like um, hard. It's still like that. You can add yourself with a PR to some of the groups, but yeah, it's like um, I, I've seen that there is the help plugin available, which is part of the proud plugin suite. Uh, we could also use that one, but therefore we would need to do a couple of changes to the to the labels themselves. But that shouldn't be too hard. But I didn't want to just enable that because I thought like we should, like you said, we should probably just ask the people for the feedback on how they see it, whether they even want it. And I think there is a couple of people maybe on the call that like have this right to to add the labels. Um, and maybe other people might chime in as well who don't have the right and who think they should have. So, um, yeah. I will ask you about that um, help prior plugin in just a second. But uh, yeah, is it, does anyone on this call have any um, uh, thoughts or feelings that they'd like to, to share with regarding um, opening up the capacity to put these labels on and presumably remove them as well? Either people are scrambling to unmute or there are no strong thoughts or feelings either way. Um, all right. Um, yeah, so uh, do you mind uh, just explaining in I don't know, 150 words or less um, what the Help Prowl plugin uh, does? I think you've muted yourself again. Damn it, I, I touched the button twice, sorry for that. Um, actually, it's like um, uh, for our pro instance, it's completely disabled. Um, with like, um, with a help plugin, you can put two labels onto PRs and issues, uh, which uh, is like, um, um, first of all, like uh, the help um, wanted label that you can put with it on that but also the good first issue like directly when you're commenting with good first issue like i'm i'm going to put it to the chat like this one you can just mark it as a good first issue or uh with remove good first issue um like this um you can you can remove the label so that should but the the caveat of that is of course like everyone can do that who is i think uh you need a you need to be a member of the org uh, for that one, I don't remember completely, so don't don't nail me on it. But I think um, this uh, should probably open up the opportunity for people to just um, like add this as a good foot issue or remove it. So um, and like we we don't have then the hassle for of like um, adding or removing people from groups, which scales better with the many repositories that we have at current. I think. Oh, okay. So this is um, like the same behavior that we currently have built into um, at least some of our repos with being able to add these labels, except it's then open to anyone that's a part of the org and it's um, project-wide rather than repo-specific. Actually, you can, you can enable it on a project basis or you can enable it for the org. So both. Um, you could. So we would be pretty flexible on that one. We could first open it up for like I propose, for example, like Kubert, Kubert, and the Project Infra, for example, so that we have those two repos, and then CDI might even chime in and enable it themselves um, after we have put the initial PR on that and show them how to do it. So, um, yeah, that that will be my suggestion how we should probably 
go forward if we want that. So, but yeah, I would first like have the, the opinion. So going forward, should I probably ask the mailing list on, um, on this or yeah. Okay. I'm going to do that. Yeah, I think so. I, I would, I would add um, the user guide and website repo to that list as well. Mm. Yep. Yeah, that makes Sounds sense. Good. Cool. Thank you very much. Um, the, the next point is uh, 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 slightly ironic because I'm asking people to add a label that they may not even be able to apply to issues. Um, but regardless, with uh, Google Summer of Code and our upcoming Contrib Fest at KubeCon, uh, we do have a lot of new contributors. And it, um, it is really good to have these good first issue or help wanted um, labels. I think preferably the good first issue because we're, I think, a bit better in the habit of using that at the moment. Um, uh, if, if, you, if you can add that label um, and you see that in the Qvert uh, or website um, or CDI, I think repos um, or project infra, because um, we'll be looking at that, uh, then please do. If you see an issue or you see something that you can create an issue and then add that label and you can't add that label, please reach out um, to myself or Daniel or someone else, if you happen to know someone that has those rights, um, so that we can add that label. Uh, and as I say there, it'll be a huge help in helping us run those uh, events. Um, so on the open floor, oh, does everyone have any questions? All righty. So we have uh, three new design proposals. I don't think we've looked at these before. Um, this came through, I think, at the start of the week. Um, so this comes from an issue that was created asking about an IPMI or Redfish-like uh, behavior for Qbert. Uh, someone chimed in saying, oh, you mean like QBMC? And um, the owner of QBMC reached out on our mailing list. You might have seen it. And we asked them to put a design proposal forward. Um, so this is that proposal. Um, if you're interested or have opinions about that kind of um, that behavior, then this is the place to put those opinions. Similarly, um, I know a little bit of the history of this one. Um, this is now the third iteration of this design proposal put forward by Liche. Um, third and hopefully final. Uh, it's gone through a few um, implementations. I don't think Alija is here to speak to it. Um, but uh, if, yeah, again, if you've got thoughts and feelings about the volume update strategy, um, this is played for us. And then I wasn't sure whether to add this one, so I did it. Uh, it is a work in progress, and it is introducing live update support for instance types. Um, so this was a, it, it is very fresh, only three hours ago. Um, if you're interested in instance types and adding the behavior to it, uh, see, it's not quite ready. But if you've got opinions on what he's currently got there, then I'm sure Lee would love to hear it. I've lost my mouse. Okay, so we've got a few pull requests that need attention. Most of them are refactors. Uh, let's jump into that. Make sure that no one's, oh, any has done it 11 minutes ago. Thank you, Felix. I always feel like I need to apologize for my um, horrifically slow internet on these meetings. Has anyone responded to this one? No. All right, I believe this is a bug fix. Um, this is the only uh, PR that hasn't got attention that's not a refactor. Um, Downloading the Gibby script in the Docker file. Another quick look. It is fantastically small. Um, yeah, is there anyone on this call that would like to take a look and review this PR?
No one? All right. I'll make a note of this slide for next week. I do see that it's got Igor and Brian uh, tagged on it. And they're usually really good at providing reviews. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, two more refact PRs. Ah, this is a series of um, typo fixes. So it might look large, but it is really pretty simple, I think. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, that's pretty much it across the whole thing. Uh, can I interest anyone in reviewing this? That's got a lot of people attached to it. I see that our participants today are lacking a lot of our reviewers. Which might make this a hard sell. Again, I might leave that to them. Uh, um, and make note of the next week. Ah, uh, this is from Morel. In which case, uh, considering we don't have any people here. Although I do see Eddie here. Eddie, do you feel like reviewing RL's PR? Oh, it's a refactoring. It's, uh, yes, but I think it's, uh, I think Aurel is, I need to talk with Aurel. He's, I think he's on leave but, uh, for a week or two, so I'm not sure how effective this will be. And okay. if he had someone specifically he wanted, he wanted this to review, I will try to contact him. Okay, thank you. Let me close that down. Uh, mailing list. So there's only one thing I really wanted to call attention to, um, and this was uh, a quick update from, from Daniel again. Um, Daniel, did you just quickly want to reiterate um, this message? Yeah, <laughs> this was just, uh, I just wanted to, to uh, just raise this because like, um, I have never seen like eight PRs merged in one batch. And I wanted just to sh give a quick shout out to everyone who is involved in that flaky test endeavor. Um, so this now shows off as uh, like that tide will get the more effective, the less flakes we have, the more PRs can get merged at the same time. And this like is one of, I never, I've never seen, I'm, I'm nearly in my five years in this project right now. Um, and I've never seen like eight PRs getting merged at the same time. So big shout out to everyone who has helped in uh, making the test more stable and keep up the good work. Thanks everyone. And thank you for as well for uh, bringing attention to it, both when there are problems and also when uh, when it's going well. Uh, speaking of thanking people, um, uh, one of the reasons the Magnus review is really small this week is because um, even though we've had a lot of um, new users reaching out, um, Alexander, Alex, Ed, Felix, Lubo, Marcelo, Shelley, Stu, and Victor um, have been all over pretty much all of them. Um, which has been really great to see. So thank you very much, um, everyone there, for helping out on these new user threads and questions. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll probably expect um, a few more as well as we, as we get closer to the um, opening of uh, Google Summer of Code and also hopefully uh, after KubeCon. Um, our final thing is just one little bug, uh, which we can look at. 
what have we got? Uh, create VM vert launcher error, guest console log, volume container disk. Okay, so mm, that's a pretty old version of Kubernetes. Uh, yeah, well out of support on that one. I might update that. I'll let them know. Um, I'll do that outside of the meeting so that you have to all sit there. I thumb my way through a meeting, get through a message. Uh, flaky test fixes, I didn't see any from the last couple of weeks. Um, which brings us to the end of our agenda. Uh, we're 20 minutes early. Um, before we wrap up, uh, did anyone want to uh, bring up anything or ask any questions or just comment on something or point anything out? Well, all righty then. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for attending. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful day, an even better weekend, and we'll see you all next week. Thank you very much. Thank you, Andrew, for hosting. See you. Bye. Bye.